as we see but just given now. what you've said in the past about universal provision of some benefits and talking about some people getting something for nothing people might have been slightly mm -hmm. confused by the mm -hmm. leaflet that you put out mm -hmm. uh, during the Dunfermline by-election where you uh, say you supported the scrapping of prescription charges you want to keep them free uh, Labour supports the mm -hmm. free bus passes uh, Labour supports the council mm -hmm. tax freeze well, is are, are you for all it of these things? It is a reflection of the cartoon politics that we're living with that the SNP misrepresent and scaremonger about what Labour has said. I have never said that some people get something for nothing. What I have said is that you have to look both at what you spend money on and what are the consequences of that. And it's not acceptable to say we have free personal care when people are living with experience of less than 15 minute visits. I want to so sustain, you would spend more then, I want to sustain public service and we need to have a mature debate about that. And I'm in the same place, I'm in the same place in this debate as Campbell Christie was, as Crawford Beveridge was, as John Swinney himself said well, in about, private. Are you in the same we place as Professor fact, Arthur Midwinter in this report that he has well, produced for your party where he talks about the council tax freeze being an inefficient mm -hmm. use of public money? Is that well, how you see the council well, tax? Arthur Midwinter is a very respected academic. He was the advisor to the Finance Committee when we were but in do power. You agree with his and findings? he talked about the importance of being honest about budgets. And we will, of course, look at Arthur Midwinter's report but the in problem is detail. You're, but your, your leaflet says Labour supports the council tax freeze. He's saying well, it's an inefficient use of public yes. But, funds, but, which is your position? But we've also got to recognise up till 2017, local authorities made manifesto commitments to have a council tax freeze. We would make two points. First of all, the council tax freeze is underfunded. And John Swinney, so has, you would spend more John on Swinney that. has attacked local government and then condemns local government for making cuts. But secondly, we also know that the council tax is discredited. And I would hope across party that we can have a discussion about how we properly fund local government to make sure... So you're talking about a, a change to the council tax? What, you're I'm, talking what, about I'm, saying rid of the is, tax? what I'm saying is there is a huge challenge. People don't want to pay the council tax. The, the it, local income tax is dead in the water as far as I can see the SNP are no longer talking about it. So is and Labour big, working on an alternative to the council is, yes, tax? Yes, because the big prize here is across party, is to understand what one lesson we get from, from by-elections, people really care about their local services, but we also know that the funding of them is not sustainable.